So yeah, no, I'm good. anyways, uh, I had to comment <clears throat> on that because it's uh, it's painful. That's a lot. So, so James, <laughs> uh, you, I, I think I should let you set up the next segment. Oh, are we are we going there right now? Yes, sir. So listen, uh, right now we are not now, mind you, we are not being sponsored by by this show. Uh, we are not being sponsored by the app that this show appears on. We just I, I enjoyed this show and I wanted to make sure we talked about it. So right now on Peacock, this show, Bel Air, is a reimagining of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air that was back on in the uh was that mid 90s uh yeah yeah mid 90s and went on for a great number of seasons great show but that was a sitcom this show bel-air takes that same concept and flips it and makes it more of a drama and i don't know what the deal is a lot of people have been hating on it everything else but that's, I think, one of the main reasons is, is because they're trying to compare this to the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. You can't do that. It's a, it's, <clears throat> it, it's like the same kind of concept. Young man gets in trouble in Philly, flies out, he gets flown out to LA, and he's living with his aunt and yet aunt and uncle in Bel Air. So uh, this is a more, uh, they took it. And they made Will definitely more street, more urban. But they basically rolled in a lot of things that are going on today with uh, social media and all that kind of stuff. I thoroughly enjoy this show. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at the cast, too. So uh, what they did here uh, on the top is the new cast. And on the bottom is the original characters. So you can see that, yeah, there's a there's some differences. Absolutely. Like Carlton is a very st uh, striking uh, difference. Um, Jeffrey is, man, he's he might be becoming one of my favorite characters. Uh, you got, oh, that's uh, Lisa down at the bottom. I didn't recognize. I didn't see that at first. But uh, yeah, no, everybody. I, you almost have to check out the show. You almost have to check out the show. I've watched all four episodes that are up right now. It comes on every... There's new episodes every Tuesday. Or not Tuesday. I'm sorry. Every Thursday. I apologize. Um, but I've been blown away by the show already. So, I mean, Mark, you said you saw watched the first episode. Yes. What did, so, what did you, uh, what, what you kind of think? Yeah, I... I mean, I don't know that I agree with you about Will being more street. I feel like in the original Fresh Prince, in the first couple of episodes, and even throughout, I think he held it. Uh, I just think this is more, I would say this is more gritty. Yeah. Um, okay. I, I would yeah, I, I would say that it's uh, definitely more true to today, and it's not a sitcom. Um, no. You know, Will uh, Smith, as Will Smith in the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, um, couldn't, you couldn't be this hard. You couldn't be dropping the N word constantly. You couldn't have all of this vulgarity that is in this series um, because it was a sitcom. Uh, right. This is, this is not a sitcom. Um, I I do got to say, I, I don't know. You're, you, you're the black of this show. You're, you're black, right? So uh, how do you feel about the just common use uh, still today of, of the N word, constantly throughout the show in the music in the background and even in locker room scenes and stuff like that. Uh, I, I'm not super, I'm not, I don't like it. Uh, you know, I'm not really a huge fan of it, uh, but I do know that that's, it's kind of commonplace now. I mean, I'm, is it I'm, still, I, I don't know. I'm not, yeah, I'm I mean, not like, in the black community, but is it well, still no, really I mean, commonplace it, to just be throwing that around that much? In in some in in some cases, it's still very much it's still very much prevalent with you know dropping it all over the place. So, um, I mean, like uh, that the the scene in the locker room, that scene in the locker room was I was like, bruh, like the with the white kid doing it, I was just like, whoa, like, I mean, I understand I understand where it's I understand it, and and I've 
<laughs> bro, I've seen it. I've seen other races just drop it like it's nothing. It's like, bro, like, no. And like, it might be in your music, but it might be in the it might be in the music that you're listening to and everything else. But like, it's one of those things where it's. I mean, I don't think I, personally. I don't even think it's okay for black people to use it, but. I do understand why we do use it. It's taking the pain and flipping it around and and using it as a, you know, taking it back basically. So, but honestly, like I have enjoyed this show so far. Um, yeah, I, so I like back, what they're doing with it and everything so get, else. So, so I would say I like some of the character choices that that they've gone with. Uh, you know, with looking at. Uh, Hillary, for example, um, where rather than her just being, you know, a valley girl kind of, she's uh, seems to be somewhat of a social media influencer, right? Uh, and and so I think you know, obviously, playing into society today uh, is good. Uh, you you you, uh, but I feel like the 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 one character that I feel is is coming across somewhat drastically different would be uncle Phil. Um, and, and I think part of that, well, so part of that is political, right there right away in episode one, he's running for the DA uh, of, I assume Los Angeles County or whatever. Yeah. And, and so there, there is that uh, feeling of maybe my political aspirations are more important than, my family. And I don't ever, I don't think I ever got that feeling from the original uncle Phil. I always felt like family was first, uh, where I did not, I don't think I felt that in this, or at least the way he came across to will for sure, or the way that he necessarily came across publicly. Oh yeah. I mean it, that, yeah. First episode is definitely gives you that feel the other episode. Like it, once you see like the other episodes and you see him, it, you see, uh, his interactions with his family and everything, you kind of, that's you, you'll, you'll see more of, uh, of the, uh, of the family, man. Um, the one character that there's actually a couple characters that for me have drastically changed. Uh, there's, well, we'll start from the bottom up. We'll start from the bottom up the from the ones that I think haven't changed as much to the one that just changed dramatically. Jeff Jazzy. It, uh, in the original, he was kind of a goofball, always getting thrown out of the house. This jazz, love it. He's a, uh, you know, he's he's kind of a hustler. Owns a record store, Uber driver, all this stuff. So I I really like what they did with him. Uh, the second one, Jeffrey. Like, <laughs> watch the other episodes. Jeffrey is a straight up G. Like, <laughs> okay, because like, I was gonna say the impression that I got from the first episode is that. Jeffrey is very similar, uh, except it seems like he's more involved in the family outside of the house as well. Yeah. So, I mean, just like watch the other episode. Jeffrey is a straight up G and I like what they've done. I actually like the uh, the Jamaican, uh, the like the, the old Jeffrey sounded more English. Um, this Jeffrey sounds definitely more Jamaican. Uh, the biggest. <laughs> yeah, Jeffrey is a beast. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, the one change that is the most dramatic to me is Carlton. Before we talk about Carlton, I got to ask. So in the opening, not the opening, but in the first episode, when Will first gets to the mansion and we, we, we meet, uh, we, we start meeting everyone, right? Right. There, there's a moment where Jeffrey goes to grab his bags and Will says, you know, something to the effect of calm down Idris, which I assume is a, a reference to Idris Alba. <laughs> what can you explain that to me? Cause I don't think I understood it, what that might've meant. Oh, I, I don't know. I think he was like, um, because I mean, yeah, Jeffrey's kind of dark. So, I mean, I, and he's trying to take his bags and he's like, Oh, wait, Hey, cause I mean, I, if you think about it, if you think about it, he's literally just got thrown on a plane from home. Mm -hmm. And so this is like all he has right now. And so he's like, he basically, he wants to make sure he keeps all his stuff close to him. You know, <laughs> I think that's one of the biggest things he, he just, he, he's very, he's a, 
he's independent, but yet he got just thrown into this whole situation. So I guess I'm just saying, why the choice of Idris rather Ah. than Jeeves or? Oh, I don't know. I I I don't know. Maybe because are they taking a stab at Idris Elba for something? No, no, they're not. There's no stab at Idris Elba, but I think I mean he kind of he he kind of has an Idris Elba look to him. So I think that's probably why he's uh that's probably why why he used that one. All right, I I don't know. Like there were, there was just a couple of things throughout the episode where I was like, I don't think I get that reference. Maybe no, uh, it was it, it. It's just like I think it's just like a little. It's a little like you know, like oh, hey, Idris. Yeah, no, I, I, I there was nothing meant by it. I think it was just a simple, just so. And in person. regards to Carlton, I completely disagree with you that he's different. I feel oh. like I feel like the character of Carlton is very similar to how Carlton was in the beginning of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Before him and Will become close, they're very much at odds. They're very distinctly different. And Carlton is, I I wouldn't say he's the big man on campus, but he definitely is well-respected and well-liked amongst his peers. Um, And I think he's also a bit of a a crass smart A, um, which he comes across as in this first episode. I think... I think the character in this first episode, because that's all I've seen so far, right. is very much the same as Carlton from The Fresh Prince. The only difference is, again, it's a little bit more gritty. It's not as much comedy. Right. I mean, I just I, I think it's like as far as everything goes, it just seems that it's he's like for me, for me, he's the most he's the most changed character, in my opinion. And Tyrus is saying the buffoonery is gone in Carlton. You won't see him dancing to Tom Jones. And that that might be very true, except that didn't happen with Carlton in the original series till second, third season. Um, And, you know, and and I guess the question is, can he do the Carlton dance? Uh, Welcome, Scott. (laughs) Thanks for checking in. Um, Because he he very well may. I mean, maybe we're not going to see him dance to Tom Jones, but could we see him at some point? dancing to somebody that would be unexpected. You know, I'm just saying, uh, while I would agree, I don't expect this version of Carlton to be full on comedic because that's not what this show is. Right. I, I do think we're going to see a relationship develop between Will and Carlton, just as we did in the original series. Uh, yeah. I mean, absolutely. That it has to happen because I mean, you're basically, if you're living together that, that, you know, you're, you're bound to build a relationship and trust me like in the first few it's it's hard goings for both of them like just trying to get everything going but uh i i'm i am thoroughly i like what they did with this show uh, i like that will smith is an, an executive producer on the show um because he's even come out and just said you know this is stuff that we wanted to do uh but because we were doing a sitcom we couldn't so you know and actually it was it's it i i'm sure you noticed a lot of the stuff with uh, with the uh, referring to the old the old theme song. Oh yeah, I got in one little fight with my mom. She got scared. Yeah, got, got uh, one, one little, little fight. fight with my, mom. my mom got scared. She said, "Move yeah. with the auntie and uncle Valera. And then like uh, when he gets on, he's on the flight and he's like, "Yo, this is bad. Drink a uh, champagne. Uh, drink an orange juice out of a champagne glass." Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, so so i think i was it was nice to see kind of all that all that kind of play out in the in the opening so yeah i i will say the one thing from a plot standpoint that i didn't like was how quickly everything happened from the point of uh the the brawl on the court if you will uh, yeah I, I feel like everything between there and then the moment where we took a breath and they're standing looking over la from the mountainside between those two points, everything just happened way too fast. Like, boom, you're you're out of jail, or you're you know I'm getting you out of lockup. We're getting in the car. We're going to the airport. You're going to see your uncle and aunt. Like, okay, I, I feel yeah, like yeah, I feel like was... with with all the setup to that point, they could have played that out a little bit more. I, I feel like they they moved too fast on that, and that they didn't set up this guy, this gangster, if you will, uh, as enough of a threat to make me think he needs to get out of there now. Do you know oh, what I no. mean? Yeah, I, no, the definite, um, I think the whole, when when he's actually, you know, when he's sitting in the jail cell and he's looking at him and he does the whole gun to the head thing. And I was like, hmm. 
Yeah, no, that's. I mean, that's definitely that's he was definitely a bigger threat than than uh, you know he might have been coming off. But but that's what I'm saying. Like up until then, there there was no reference to to this guy on the streets. Like when we saw the other guy on the streets, if there was a reference or early, I just feel like we spent 15, 20 minutes setting up for Will to have his his moment of what's going to happen that sends him to the West Coast um, for it to all just get really rushed. I oh, like- you say, oh, you're saying you're saying from the point of you're saying from the point that should that could have been drawn out a little bit more. Instead I would of- have almost liked to see them take the entire first episode. And then the end of the episode is him getting sent to Bel Air. And in episode two, we meet the family and everything. I feel like they could have spent more time establishing his presence in Philly and establishing him there as a character there so that when he comes to California, it, it makes more sense why he is the way he is and who he is. Uh, I, you know what? I, I don't really agree with that. I think they kind of, they, I mean, yes, I think they could have, they could have stretched it out a little bit longer uh, with that portion, but I think what they did, the way they, the way they did it. uh, Yes. The car did have dice in the mirror as well. Um, But, (laughs) um, but I think the way that they did it, they established that he was, he was very well liked uh, in Philly. He was, you know, he was a star basketball player. He was, um, you know, girls were definitely digging him. Uh, he had a really good relationship with his mom. Uh, and, and you know, even his friend Trey, you know, you see that. Uh, and that, actually, Trey is a character that I remember showed up uh, a, in a season two, three, something like that, a couple times just as a, you know, recurring character that was a friend of Will's from Philly. Mm-hmm. Um so I do like the fact that they they haven't changed any of the names. They kept everybody the same. Uh, the one thing my brother talk was talking about, they brought Lisa in super early, if you will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they oh, brought yeah. Her. We didn't see her until uh, pretty much almost the last season. And that's when uh, Will was, they were supposed to get married. But um, I liked I, I liked the tension there, too, because, like, you know, she used to date Carlton and stuff like that. So, um but she's really feeling Will. So I, I do like that whole concept. I like the way, I mean, I, I just like the way they've built the show out. Uh, I like what they're doing with it, and I just hope to see it continue. So, I mean, everybody, if you just watch the first episode, it, you're not going to do it. Like, give it, give it, you know, give it a couple, ep- give it a few episodes. And if you still don't like it, then then that's fine. But also, you got to you gotta kind of push, you got to push the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air out because that was more of a comedy this is definitely a drama it says it right there on the on the thing it says drama so yeah try try and take it for its own thing don't try to compare and contrast i think that's a bad move yeah and tyrus says uh how fast everything moved was all his uncle's doing perhaps he broke some rules to get will out of there they touched uh, that what Phil did to show the situation isn't over. It may come back to bite him on his campaign for DA. Yeah, and there there was definitely some yeah. foreshadowing of that uh, in the first episode. And uh, I, evidently, according to Brian, our damn checking in, if you don't like it, you're racist. <laughs> what? Um, coming from a white skinhead. I mean, bald man. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, Again, I, 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 uh, for what it is, a drama that is taking the concepts, the premises of Fresh Prince of Bel Air, I thought it was fine. The, yeah. the pilot was fine. Uh, like I said, there were some things I would have liked to seen more drawn out, but overall, I, I felt like it was a fine pilot for for what it is. And um, uh, so I guess I'm not a racist. So cool, good on. <laughs> you. 